Welcome back to Book Break. I have been thinking a lot recently about movie adaptations of books. There have been some really exciting announcements recently. Luster is getting made into a film. The Nightingale is getting made into a film. Dark Matter, I believe, is getting made into a TV show. I always love seeing some of my favourite books brought to life on the screen and seeing what they do with them. It's so exciting. So then I started thinking about my movie wish list, the books that I would just love to go to the cinema to watch. I did end up with quite a big list. There are so many books that I think would work really well on the big screen. So before I start rambling on about my movie wish list, I would love to know in the comments below which books have you read that you think would just be brilliant as a film or as a TV show. I'm going to tell you what I think. So starting with some fantasy books, The Library of the Dead by T.L. Huchu. This is set in Edinburgh, which would be such a good setting for a film. It's so beautiful. It's a fantasy supernatural story. It's got ghosts. It's got a beautiful library. I can so see this being brought to life. It's about a teenage girl who can talk to the dead and she starts hearing messages that send her on this adventure. What's not to love? Another book that would make a great fantasy film with an amazing setting would be Blackwater Sister by Zen Cho. That one is set in Malaysia, which I would love to see at the cinema. That one has also got ghosts, but this time the ghost is our main character's late grandmother, who takes the form as a ghost of the voice in her head, and a very, very bossy one at that. So I'd be really intrigued to see how they did that on screen, how they made that work visually. It would be a bit of a challenge for them, but it would be such a beautiful film. It would be really exciting because not only are there ghosts, there are also gangsters, there are goddesses, and we've got a great main character who the author herself described as a stressed zillennial lesbian. For some thriller films, I think that People Like Her by Ellery Lloyd would make a great thriller movie. So this book is about social media and the lies that people tell and the different lives that they portray on social media. So I think that that being so visual would work really well as a movie. I can already picture what they would do with Instagram on the screen. 16 Horses by Greg Buchanan I think would make a really good TV show. So this is a book set in a small town where hysteria sets in after these strange discoveries keep turning up, starting with 16 horses' heads found buried in the ground, each with one eye facing the sun. So a very, very creepy image. I think that would work very well and be chilling on screen. And then watching this investigation unfold would work really well in episodes every week. The Doll Factory by Elizabeth McNeil is a historical thriller and I would love to see this one as a film. It has a very, very creepy, obsessive main villain. If you've read the book, I would love to know who you would cast, for both of the main characters actually, Silas the villain, someone could play him so terrifyingly. And then our main character is a woman with beautiful long red hair who is an artist and an artist's muse. Who would you cast in that role? Another mystery could be The Lamplighters by Emma Stonex, which is based on a true story about three men who went missing from a lighthouse in the middle of the sea. So there should be no way out. No one to this day knows what happened. And Emma Stonex created her own story loosely based on that. And I think this could be a really arty film. I'm picturing The Lighthouse starring Robert Pattinson, which is a film that I haven't seen, but it did look very arty and brooding. For some historical films, some period films, I think that Dear Mrs. Bird and the sequel Yours Cheerfully would be delightful on screen. I think it could work either as a TV show or you could actually combine the events of both books to make a really, really lovely film. It's set in London during the Second World War and so there's obviously a lot of sadness in the book, but it's a really jolly book and it's about a fantastic young heroine who works in a magazine. She wants to be a foreign correspondent, um, but she ends up answering agony aunt letters and helping women that way. Um, and it's just delightful. I think it would be a really, I can picture it as a really bright, colourful film that I would just watch over and over again. The Muse by Jesse Burton has got this really gorgeous Spanish setting, so it's set between Civil War era Spain and 1960s London, and the book is about painting, so again it would be a very beautiful film. It could be very visual, bringing all of the art to life, and it's got this fantastic mystery that weaves both of those timelines together. Devotion by Hannah Kent is set on this epic boat journey to Australia, so that would be a great setting for a film. It's got a lesbian love story in it, it's got a twist. I think we're talking Oscar material here. 
Then thinking about some action movies, She Who Became the Sun by Shelley Parker Chan. I honestly don't know how this isn't a movie already. It would be an amazing historical action film with very strong Mulan vibes. Rabbits by Terry Miles is already a book adapted from a podcast, so they might as well adapt it into a movie or TV show as well. I think this would be one of those films like The Matrix or like Inception where you feel a little bit clever just from watching it. I think it could be a cult favourite. It's about a virtual reality game and I think you'd get a lot of internet forums dedicated to theories about it. American War by Omar El Akkad is set in 2074, so it's this dystopian future where there is a second American Civil War and a devastating plague. That sounds like a pretty action-packed movie to me. And then for some contemporary movies, Soul Sisters by Leslie Loco would work really well. It's partly set in present day, but we do learn about their past as well. But it's this gorgeous sweeping book that would work so well as a tear-jerking movie. It's about these two best friends, one Scottish, one South African, and we learn about the family secrets that bond them together. And finally, Disorientation by Elaine Shechu would be a really funny film. It's got this very dry humour. It's set on a college campus, and it's got a great main character who is just fed up, to be honest. She sort of reluctantly tackles issues of race and tokenism and things that she never really wanted to be part of her identity. I think this could be an amazing breakout role for someone, such a great character to see brought to life. So I'd love to know, again, which books you are most craving at getting the chance to watch on the big screen. Do let me know in the comments below and I will, you know, see what I can do. Go talk to some movie producers. I will also link here to a video I made before on thrillers that we think would make really good TV shows and I will also link here to our alternative Oscars list where we looked at some of the diverse range of books that have been adapted into Oscar winning movies. It's a winning formula. Let's have more of it please. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for new videos every Tuesday and Thursday and I'll see you next time.